This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, we will be starting our next topic that is procurement of stock materials. Okay, so the procurement of stock materials means the materials for which we maintain inventory in the organization. So those materials are called as stock materials. Okay, so how those materials purchasing happens, we will discuss in this class. Okay, so the the topics that we are going to cover in this one, we will see request for quotation, how to create request for quotation in the system, how the quotation processing happens, how to create the purchase order with, with reference to a quotation. Okay, then conditions, we will discuss about conditions, valuation class, okay, and then valuation area, okay, stock types, what are the different stock types are there, then we will see material and accounting documents. Okay. And in effects of good receipt, how the good receipt is done. And when you do the when you do the good receipt, what's going to happen? You will see that. And finally, invoice and accounting documents. How the invoicing is done and how the accounting documents get generated. So these are the topics uh, we will be covering in the uh, procurement of stock materials. Okay. So basically, uh, normally in the purchasing. Uh, process the, the first step is a request for quotation means let's say whenever you want to purchase a material whenever you want to procure a material the first step is they will ask the prospective supplier to provide their quotation quotation so for that you need to create a request for quotation okay so once they provide the quotation based on the quotation you will select a the right vendor okay so you will do the price comparison and based on that you will select a correct best vendor so once you select the best vendor you for the best vendor you will give the purchase order you will create a purchase order and you provide the purchase order and based on the purchase order he will supply the material you will receive the material goods receipt so once he supply the material you do the goods receipt and after that invoice receipt he will send his invoice that invoice entry details you need to enter into the system so this is the end-to-end -end process flow basically first we will start with the request for quotation okay so request for quotation what is a request for quotation a request for quotation is an invitation extended to a vendor by purchasing organization to submit a quotation for the supply of materials or performance of services so basically request for quotation is nothing but you ask the supplier to supply his quotation like how much quantity how much price he is going to charge for that material okay you send the request for quotation to the selected vendors suppliers okay uh, so this request for quotation can be created manually or copy from another request for quotation or use purchase requisition or outline agreement as an entry template so this request for quotation you can directly create manually or you can copy from the other other purchasing documents which we will see in the uh, subsequent classes but today we will be creating this as a manual so this is the one so you create let's say you have you want to procure a material you want to purchase a material you have three prospective vendors vendor a vendor b vendor c so now you will create request for quotation for these three vendors vendors and to just to club this you give a collective number you give a collective number in this request for quotations okay so uh, this one so this is the one basically so you create a request for quotation for the three vendors three vendors and you will send this request for quotation to these vendors and vendors will supply their quotations you receive you enter the quotation details in the system and then you do the price comparison based on that you will select a best vendor for that vendor you will give the purchase order and the for the other two vendors you will send the rejection you will say that your your quotation is rejected okay so this one now we will see it in the system so first we will be starting the quotation request for quotation creation okay so now let me log into the system and 
log into the system. Okay, log into the system. I'll show you the navigation path. Go to logistics. Okay. Go to materials management, purchasing, basically materials management. Go to purchasing. Okay. Okay, here. You have, you have a folder called RFQ quotation. Okay, open this. Request for quotation. Open this. Okay, ME41. The T code is ME41. So in our flow, the first step is creation of request for quotation. Creation of request, request for quotation, quotation, RFQ. They call it as a RFQ, okay? So now let's create this ME41, double click. Create RFQ. What is RFQ type? Click on the list. Okay, I will use normal RFQ, AN, okay? Language is English. This is the date on which you are creating the request for quotation. Okay, then you need to enter the quotation deadline. By which date the prospective supplier has to submit his quotation, let's say 15 days. By, by 15th of August, he has to submit his quotation. Okay, this is the deadline. This date is the date on which we are trying to create the quotation, request for quotation. By this date, he has to sub provide his quotation. Okay, now, once you enter this, you need to enter your purchase organization, purchasing group. We already discussed in the previous class, what is purchase organization, purchasing group. So I will use 1710, my purchasing group. I'll use a normal one. I will use one like 001, okay? So once you enter this, just click on the button, enter. It will take you to the screen, okay? So now, which material you are trying to purchase basically? So enter a material. I'll enter this material 7144, which we created in our previous classes material. Let's say the quantity is 1000. I want to purchase 1000. Okay, 1000 quantity and delivery date. This is the quotation deadline date. Okay, this is a quotation deadline date. And by which date he needs to supply the material. So that is, let's say, 31 August, 31st of August. Enter. Done. We entered the information. The material is sugar. Material code is 7144. We want to purchase 1000 quantity. After that, what you need to do is go to this one. Here you see there is a button, header details. Go to that button. Here you have all the data. Okay. Here you see there is a field called collective number. Here you have to give that collective number. So let's I will give it as uh, Mohan. Mohan123. This is the collective number I am giving. So this is one. When I am creating a request for quotation, I am giving the collective number. You will understand the importance of this collective number in a minute. Basically, we are linking all these three requests for quotations. Okay. So once you enter, enter. Here you see now there is a button here. Supplier address. You see there is a button. You need to go to that button. Okay. Click on that button. It will ask the vendor over here. You need to enter the vendor code here. Okay. So already in the previous class, we discussed how to create the vendor master. So I'll select it. Okay. This is the vendor, vendor code. Okay. So I am planning to purchase this material, the material from this supplier. Enter. Okay. Now the supplier information is populated here. Supplier name, supplier address, his country, where it is, everything is populated here. Okay. So now I'll put it in a notepad file. Okay, first quotation RFQ is this one. Sorry, not it created, right? This is a supplier. Okay, I'll put it here. Oh, now I will save this request for quotation. Save it. So request for quotation is created. What is a number? This is a number. Okay, this is a number. And let me make a note of this number. This is a request for quotation number, and this is a supplier. This is a supplier. Okay. Now let me create request for quotation for the another sub, another supplier. Okay. Now go back. Okay. Now what you can do? Let me go back again. 
again go to me41 enter the information same information same information click on enter okay now enter the material code same material thousand quantity okay delivery date is this one enter go to header okay give the collective number mohan123 enter now click on this button supplier address enter another supplier let's say this is a supplier vendor okay so save it so another request for quotation is created this is a request for quotation okay and then and the vendor is this one 